will be real quick. Um, I'm D. World Cruise, your life applications officer. I'm going to make this quick because I want this question answered. And I know it's not going to be answered honestly. I want this question answered. And I know it's not going to be answered honestly. But I want it answered anyway. Why is it so important for atheists to go up against someone's right to be a Christian? Or why is it so important to stop the preaching of the gospel? Okay? Because, see, if you don't want to hear it, no one's forcing you to listen. If you don't want, if you don't accept what you hear, or you or accept yourself as what you're defined as by other groups or whatever, you don't have to define yourself that way. I want this question answered. Why is it so important to an atheist to tell me that I'm? That why is my why is my faith in God a problem for an atheist? So you come to my channel and you use the excuse that I'm talking about atheism. But when I go to other channels to chime in on what they're talking about, in the comment section, atheists let me know that they are troubled by me being a Christian. They're troubled by the person in the video, saying anything good about Christianity. They're troubled by the fact that the song that the woman is singing is a Christian song. They're troubled by the fact that this woman had a vision of heaven, or this woman uh, was healed of her diseases, and, and, and you, you know what I'm saying? And I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, well, you're going to say deceptions and lies, poison. I think you're a fat liar. That's not why you feel that you need to interrupt people's right to believe in God, their right to faith, and interrupt people's faith in God. That's not why you interrupt. And you are in interruption. That's what atheism is. You know, I'm making videos because I'm combating the issue of atheism, okay, in America right now. As I see it you know, attacking the church. But it is you, atheists, that are, inter that are interrupting faith. You feel you need to stand in the way and protest our faith. Okay? You got plenty of science museums all over the world. Why did you need to go over there and tamper with what Ken Ham is talking about? Ken Ham ain't keeping nobody from going to college and learning science. Ken Ham ain't keeping nobody from studying evolution. But you're, what you're doing is you want what you believe to be the only thing to believe. You want your cult to be the only cult that exists. Let me tell you, let me tell you what spirit we're dealing with here. In the Bible... Jesus dealt with a lot of demon-possessed people. Now, as a Christian, I understand from Bible theology that, that people of God can be oppressed by the devil. They can't be demon-possessed. And I understand that anybody can be oppressed by the devil. And if you allow too much uh, familiar spirits to enter into your life, you can actually end up demon-possessed. Which means you're on, you're in so much, you're under so much control of the evil one that you don't even know that you are attacking innocence. Okay? Demons feared Christ, but tormented God's people. Demons feared Christ, but tormented God's people. Does that sound like an atheist? Demons were around Christ. And his people. That's where they wanted to be. Even though they feared Christ. They, they would hang out around Christ. And then say. Christ you came to persecute us. Okay. 
Demons hated the gospel being preached. This is shown all through the book of Acts, where the apostles were beaten and, and imprisoned and persecuted in many different ways for preaching the gospel. They were told not to preach anything in that name, the name of Jesus, ever again. They found ways to do it. Okay? And when they died, they died some horrible deaths. People were really angry about them preaching the gospel. Satan is an accuser of the church. He's an accuser of the brethren. He counterpetitions Christians in their prayers. He counterpetitions Christians against Christians to God. You'll find that in the book of Job. Okay? Don't atheists do this? Don't they accuse Christians of all kinds of condemnation? So-called fallacies and so-called... Uh, Paganism, like that's a word for a secular world, okay? What do you know about paganism? But, we've been accused of all that, okay? Children of the devil, their job is to oppress God's people. So, um, and that's what the Bible calls you. You that work against the church. You know what, atheist? You're not the only people that, this is nothing new. Okay, it's just a new name. But there were people, there were religions that were doing the same thing atheists were doing. They were attacking the church. They were attacking the believers and saying that, you know, and the only difference between today and yesterday is that maybe the Romans had a god. Maybe they believed in Roman mythology. Or Greek mythology. But their attitude was just like the secular world today. The secular world is into Greek and Roman mythology. Okay? The secular world is constantly, you know, they believe in so many things. None of them are scripturally sound. Okay? So what is the difference? There's really atheists, you know, these atheists, they try to act like they're special in that they're pass everybody else. They're not. They're a cult just like any other cult. Okay? They are they are just as religious as they as the religions that they claim that they are anti religious about. I mean, you know, it's just a it's it's just it just it's a joke. It really is. It really is a joke. Um atheists why do you feel that you need to interrupt people's faith, people's belief systems? Why do you feel, you know, like I said in about a hundred videos, if there's a crime being done, and that crime isn't believing in God, but if there is a crime being done, it doesn't matter whether you're a Christian, a Muslim, an atheist, or whatever you are, you're going to jail. So why does it matter if this person believes in God? He still has to obey the laws of the land. But yet, it's wrong to you. It's wrong for him to believe in God. It's wrong for him to have faith. And you look for an opportunity, especially here on YouTube. You look for an opportunity, especially when people are preaching the gospel on the street. You look for an opportunity to have an argument, a fight with a Christian. You look for opportunities. These are facts. These are not just me talking. Look it up. Watch yourself on YouTube. Okay? That's all I got to say. I told you this would be quick. Um, my videos are not about trying to break through your, your little uh, uh, atheist covering that's protecting you. You know, I'm not trying to get in there and rob you of your freedom. I'm just trying to get you to pay attention to what you've gotten yourself into. I'm just trying to get you to pay attention to what you got yourself into because it does not edify, it does not help, it does not solve anything. It's just you being a bully and you're okay with that. 
You're okay with that. You're okay with that. And never have I seen an atheist yet apologize for another atheist. Or admit that what, what an atheist is doing wrong because he's not doing it, that the atheist is wrong for doing it. Everything from physical persecution to verbal persecution. Oh, well, you know, uh, I can understand why an atheist would do that. Yeah, right. And I can understand why I would be strapped and armed and not put up with your nonsense the way a lot of other Christians are doing it. Being you feel that way. I'm just trying to get you to get out of the argument over what, who believes what and look at the situation. We got bigger problems than Christians. Okay? We got bigger problems than Christians. If you think there's a problem, don't look here. Look at the problem. Don't look here. Look at the problem. But just like the demons in the Bible, or the people that were demon-possessed, they all feared Christ. They were afraid of Christ, but yet they tormented his people. They would claim that Christ was out to persecute them. Before their time. They feared. Hell. They knew their future. But yet. They wanted to lie. And steal. And destroy. Kill, steal and destroy. Christians. And that's what atheists. Are doing. So God bless you. Thank you for watching. Um, I got a lot more coming. But once I'm out, I'm out. So if you really, 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 really want to get to know the Lord, don't let other atheists talk you out of it. Don't be embarrassed. Okay? There's no better time than now. Better late than never. Okay? But you need to know the Lord. Forget all this arguing. And, you know, this atheism is a cry for help. This atheism is a cry to understand. Because there's a lot of non-believers out there that don't care to argue. They're happy without being an atheist. That right there debunks your atheism. Why does, why, 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 why does it need it when there's plenty of non-believers out there that don't feel that they need to be extremists in order to be happy? They don't feel like they need to tell me that it's wrong for me to have faith. Or question my faith even. For them to be happy. They're happy letting me be me. And I'm okay with letting them be them. But that's not what my videos are about. My videos are about exposing that. Okay. I'm not trying to keep you from being you. I'm just telling you. What you've gotten yourself into. Because you really did. Atheism doesn't edify nothing but war. And hate. It's no different than racism. I got a video on that. Please think about it. Praying for you, atheists. I'm praying for you. I am praying for you. In Jesus' name. Thanks for watching.